Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifier between Hungary and San Marino. This fixture will be played at the Pushka Arena in Budapest. That stadium does feature in the rich red patch that I use, so we have a beautiful rendition of it here on the preview. Looks like we've got some rain in Budapest for our preview here. chants from the Hungarian faithful. The players line up on the pitch. Let's take another look around the Kuskas Arena before we pause for the national anthem. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For Hungary, they line up. It's actually a 3 5 2. The fullbacks here, but they'll be back. Salai and Salai at the strike pair. Ryan Heisler in place of Zobislai, the RB Leipzig uh, young phenom. Midfield the big. Galashi and that. Really Orban enters the back line. For San Marino, they'll be in a 4 4 2 diamond here. It's uh, pretty. pretty uh, Attacking setup given the uh, relative disparity of size. We'll see how that works out for them. Look at our European qualifiers ball. We are underway in Hungary. Hungary behind the back line early, but England's too acute there to really challenge the keeper. Pushkish Award, of course named after the Greek Hungarian footballer in the 50s. Those folks watching, self included, certainly not old enough to know that firsthand, but in the 50s, Hungary were really a, a world power in football. In the 1954 World Cup final, they were actually a heavy favorite to beat Germany. Still recovering from the effects of World War II. Hungary, led by Pushkish, was the world power. And that was considered one of the biggest upsets of all time at the time. It was actually a couple in a row. 1950, Uruguay beat Brazil in a World Cup that was basically made to order for Brazil. 54, Germany beats Hungary, what was considered an even larger upset. So, of course, nowadays, you look at that matchup, and Germany, knowing what we know about them now, the four-time world champions. It sounds weird now, but Lot can change in that amount of time. Offsides for Hungary. Yeah. 
goes over the touch line. Throw to Hungary. A lot of passes and such from both sides have been off the mark. Maybe the effect of the rain. Flying Heisler. Shot is stopped. Nil nil at the break from the Kuskus Arena in Budapest. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. Even on the uh, quantity of possession, quality certainly goes to Hungary. We've got all the attempts, all the passes. I'm sure if we had a heat map there, you'd see that a uh, vast majority of that was on the, in there attacking third in the midfield. So I think uh, things continue that way in this half. I think I'll find a breakthrough for the Hungarian side. Whether notwithstanding, there can be the great equalizer sometime when you've got a big disparity between the relative uh, abilities of two sides on the football pitch. Nagy looking for Klein Heisler. Sally to Sally doesn't get there. Backline from San Marinos. Danfer. They're looking long. Generally not a strategy I'm real big on. to be filled by Zobislai, or he likes a uh, phenom, or he likes it well represented on the uh, Hungarian national team with Zobislai, Willy Orban, Galashi, the keeper. Another shot from Salai. Not away by a defender. It'll be another quarter to the Hungarian side. City. I recommend the goulash, wonderful Hungarian dish, primarily a beef and noodle type of dish. Tip there is off target, that'll be a goal kick for San Marino. Rain's making things really tough here. I feel quite confident that Hungary will get a result here, but Green is making things a little difficult. Sally not really a Greek. Shot there, he was in a lot of space, but passing the run wasn't precise enough and able to stand and plant get a good shot off there. See if they can do better on this one. Sally looking for Sally. Sends it over. For your offsides. Really need Zoba Sly here. Still a year old, and him being only 19, have him on the uh, Hungarian national team yet. Hoping we'll get an update from Virtual Red soon that'll rectify that because he's a heck of a player. Nikolic in behind. Oh! Had visions of the uh, High Havertz. Champions League final goal there. I was going to just take a touch around the keeper and skate home. Didn't get there. Zali shot is knocked away. We're in stoppage time here. It's starting to look pretty dire for Hungary. This would not be uh, a 
result that I think the Hungarian side or their fans and supporters would appreciate. San Marino certainly would. For the sake of this preview, it's nil-nil. Let's take a look at our highlights. The rain literally dampened the attack quite a bit here for Hungary. Klein Heisler here. Can't get a shot out plenty of times where I was back there to get a shot off and couldn't couldn't get planted. And, um, rain kind of spoiled the day here for the Hungarian side, I believe. Salai there, his shot's knocked away. Viola, he loses his balance from the volley attempt there and sends it sky high. Zalai and stoppage time, gets around the defender but can't get precise strike and despite the big disparity in attempts, this one ends nil-nil from the Pushkas Arena in Budapest. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.